That's a lot of packages. I don't know if you can tell, but they're, it's kind of obvious. They're books, and I love books. It's one of my biggest passions. So this is thriftbooks.com, and they are a massive online used bookstore, as it says right here, online used bookstore. And basically, I've used them before, and I absolutely love them because they give you a ton of different choices from their books, and you can pick which which condition you want in it. So it's really cool because I can get some of my books for literally like five bucks each. So some of these are literally only five dollars each, and they're really good condition. So that's really cool. I'm gonna explain to you guys exactly uh, how much I paid for each book and what the condition is that they say on their website. So. Let's get started. This one's gonna be last because this is a special one for one of my collections. So let's start with this one. This is called Escape from Earth, New Adventures in Space. This caught my eye mainly because it's fantasy fiction, but it's a young adult as well. And I wanted something that was a little bit out of my comfort zone, but still something that I know will be somewhat of an easy read. So I got this for $5.09, and it was classified as very good condition. It comes with the dust jacket, and let's see, so it's a little sticky, there's, I mean, there's, uh, some stuff on it, but I'm not really too worried about it, it looks like it's just dirt, it's like coming off, so that's really good, but yeah, I mean, none of the pages are folded down, none of the corners are doggy-eared, uh, it all looks like it's there, there's no chunks, there's no staining really. Um, it looks like the spine might be, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it looks like the spine is a little damaged, but I mean, it's just like from sitting on a shelf, so. And this one looks like it's been maybe almost, almost sun damage, but it's like it's faded a little bit. But I mean, it's not, that's really good condition, seriously, that's, that's not bad considering it's it's not like a first edition or anything, and well, you know what? I say that. No, it doesn't say anything about being a first edition or anything. It, I mean, it's it's not like it's, it's supposed to be in immaculate condition, so it just says very good. The corners are a bit a bit bent down and stuff, so that's kind of knocks it down for me a little bit. But they did pretty good. It's not too bad, and like I said, it was only five dollars, and it's a hardback, and it still has the dust cover on it, so. That's pretty good. Next. All right, so we have Janet Ivanovich, Wicked Appetite. I have not read, read any of her novels, but I love uh, Nora Roberts, um, J.D. Robb, which is her uh, pen name, and uh, I, I really like her like Nora Roberts and stuff, so I've heard that she's kind of the same way with her writing and everything, and the way her, her stories are written and everything, so I have a really good feeling I'll like it. And I read the synopsis, and I, I'm rather intrigued with it, so. But this was this was $4.79, and it's like New Condition, which is a step up from Very Good. So I believe it goes acceptable, good, very good, like new, and then obviously new if it's never been used before. It was it was attained from a shop somewhere. So, I think I, be, I believe it's classified under those five. So this is like new. And let's, let's see. That's part of the printing. These stickers actually come off really easily, so I'm not worried about that. Is that? No, okay. Ooh, it's, it's a 3D rayer. That's really cool, I like that. There's the other. So yeah, it, it looks like it's actually really well done. The corners aren't too badly bent in, so that's good. It, it doesn't have that 
rubbed effect from sitting on a shelf for too long. It's bent just a little bit down here, but like I said, that's nothing. So this is, this is really good. Like I said, it's got the dust jack and everything, so it works really well. I'm pretty sure it's not a first edition. I'm not really worried about that when I buy these. Oh, it, wow, it is a first edition. But again, I don't know... I don't know much about her books. I don't know if she's extremely popular. I just know she had a lot of her books on there. And like I said, I like the synopsis of the book, so... But yes, this is indeed... A first edition. September 2010. So, I don't know if that means anything. It, it might not be that popular of a book, but I don't know. All I know is I want to read it, and that's what matters. So, that one. Then we have this. Charles Dickens' Bleak House. I read the synopsis, and I'm not big on reading classics because I was forced to read them in school, and honestly, it kind of deterred me from reading at first until I started reading, reading a lot of my fantasy fiction away from school and realized that I loved them. So, as far as classics go, I usually don't read a lot of the classic authors and stuff, but I read the synopsis, and it sounds very good, and I'm willing to give it a try. So if you guys have read any of these books that I show you, please do not hesitate to comment in the comments below and let me know what you thought of them, whether you liked it or not. But this was... This is not... This... Okay, so I was going to say, I don't remember getting this one. I do remember Charles Dickens, but I don't remember Bleak House. So, so it was like, as soon as I was saying it, I was like, I don't remember ordering that. They do get their orders wrong every now and then, and it's it's gonna happen. Let me open up the last one before we continue with this, because I still have two more books, and I can't remember which one that's supposed to be. So we're gonna put that aside, and we're gonna move on. I'm not honestly not really worried about it, because they have a very, very good customer service department. And we've, we've run into a few snags before, and honestly, it was it was nothing to get a hold of them. I believe it was on the weekend. We ordered a hardback. They sent us a paperback. We got a hold of them on the weekend through an email. They immediately responded and said, oh, we are so sorry. Keep the book. We'll send you a new one. They did, but they messed up the second time and sent us another uh, paperback when it was still supposed to be a hardback and we emailed them immediately again and said no you know you, you still sent a paperback and they said oh it looks like it was a coding issue we were terribly sorry about that keep both of the books and we will refund you your money it was only like five bucks but still it, it, they refunded us the five dollars exactly whatever it was worth and we got to keep the two paperbacks so they're really good they're extremely quick about getting back to you and I love their customer service but this right here is the whole reason I went on and started shopping this exact time for these books. Ready? Ready for this? Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, fully illustrated. Fully illustrated. This, I, I have hardbacks, I have paperbacks, but I do not have anything that is illustrated. My girls are still young, and I want to be able to read to them and still somewhat keep their attention, if not through, you know, a couple pages, at least through a chapter or two. Or I said that backwards, but you know what I mean. So basically, this is just, it's, it's beautiful. It's really well done. And if you haven't seen these before, I highly suggest you, you, uh, look at them because if they don't have any actual picture on the page the, itself, the pages actually look like they're old parchment paper and then you can see like the spotting from like parchment paper and everything. So it's it's really, really well done. I mean, look at this. This is amazing. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but if you have not seen these before, you need to check them out because I believe they have the entire line, if not at least the first three books, done where they are fully illustrated, and they're so beautiful, and I cannot wait to read these to my girls and let them experience basically what I have been able to experience, so I can't wait. This was the whole reason I went onto this website that specific time, but this book right here is, I believe it's a little over $30 with tax online through Amazon. Don't quote me on that, 
but I'm pretty sure it's pretty close. I know it's over 30. This one on Thrift Books is in like new condition. That's what they listed it as. And I got this for $16.49. That's half off. That's amazing. And look at look at how beautiful condition this is. There's no rubbing or scarring along the spine. The uh the dust jacket is still on it. The corners aren't folded down too terribly. I mean, they're a little up here on the top, but it's it's beautiful. It even still has Let's see if I can get it. This right here, the ribbon. It's a built-in bookmark. I don't want to rip the pages. So, it's still there. I mean, it's it's a beautiful book. It really is. I'm pretty sure it's, it doesn't do anything about, like, first editions or anything like that. Because, obviously, these are not the first editions. But they're just so beautiful. But that's really cool. I got this half off just by going there. And I know they had another copy. So I don't know what condition it was in, but I know they had another copy. And this was only $16. So it's basically half off. This is amazing. And it's in great condition. I am extremely happy with this. And I cannot wait to read it with my girls. Is this right? Yeah, this is right. Snobbery with violence. Marion Chesney. And it's a Edwardian murder mystery, and I have been looking for murder mysteries where they just throw just a tiny bit of romance in there, and there's a lot of, like, you know, sleuthing and everything, and I love women's sleuths too, and that's what I looked up, and this is what I found. So I am really happy to finally read a novel like this. But let's see. So I got this for $5.99, and it's listed in very good condition. It's got a little... Almost like there was a sticker here at one point, which I know how to get that off. I am not worried about that whatsoever. And it looks like the pages, I, I think the pages are meant to be discolored because it's all the way, I mean, that's a different color than that, but they're all like that. So I think they're meant to be discolored, but there's no like physical staining or anything. So it's really good. Again, no dog ears. These are a little bent right here, but that doesn't bother me at all. It looks like it might have gotten damp. Not wet, but damp at one point on the corners. But I'm not worried about that. So let's see. Let's check. This got the dust jacket. I always make sure they have the dust jackets. I like, I like having the dust jackets. The corners aren't bent at all. So, oh, this one's just a tiny bit bent, but that's not bad at all. So this is this is really good condition. So if you have not used these before, used thrift books before, I highly recommend you check them out, especially if you don't mind uh, buying used books. It's it's like saving the trees, people. I mean, seriously, it's really cool. So those four books. This is the wrong book. Let me just verify. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be... Yeah, the old curiosity shop. It was still supposed to be by Charles Dickens, but same artwork design except for the picture. And it's supposed to say down here. So it's basically the same like edition. Like like they made several of his classics in editions that look like this. Only it's supposed to be the old curiosity shop. So, no problem. I can easily because it looks like they still have some available on their website. I'm looking at my phone right now. And it even says, you purchased this item. Well, yes, I know, but you sent me the wrong copy. No problem at all. Like I literally just told you guys, you can go on there, you can email them because you, you sign up through them. So you, it's a free account. You email them. They get back to you literally within the day or two. And they're extremely quick, extremely easy. And they say, yeah, no problem. We'll send you the new book. They'll probably, honestly, they'll probably tell me to keep this. So I, I don't even know what this book is about. <laughs> but hey, if you've read it, please do not hesitate to let me know what you thought of it or what it is supposed to be about. They shouldn't have any problem getting me the old curiosity shop. Cause like I said, they have, I'm looking at their website and they still have one left or at least a couple. All in all, I spent $40 on this haul, $40 through this online mega massive thrift book shop. And I got 
practically brand new Sorcerer's Stone fully illustrated book. Three novels that I can't wait to actually read. One, so two that are just regular novels that I, I should know that I, I'm, I'm going to like them. But this is the one that I'm a little curious about because, like I said, it's young adult and it's a little different than what I'm used to. But I do like those, not really dystopian, but futuristic type books or movies I should say I like the futuristic movies so I have I don't I don't see a problem with me reading a futuristic book so it looks really cool they're, they've got like the picture is them they, they've got this backpack on that's got wings spread out through their hands so they're like flying in the air it's really cool looking and there's like spacey looking stuff in the background so hopefully it's really good but like I said it is a young adult and I don't know I have read a couple young adults in the past couple months and They've been a little wordy, so I'm hoping that's not what that is, but we'll see. Out of all of these, obviously my favorite is going to be The Sorcerer's Stone. I cannot wait to read it with my girls, like I've said a million times already. But if you like any of these books, let me know. Um, if you've tried thrift books in the past, let me know in the comments below what you think of them. And if you haven't, I highly recommend that you check them out. They are amazing, they're really good customer service, and they're really cheap. I mean, most of these books are five bucks. I got all of these right here for five bucks. This is the only one that's a little extra and it's still half off. So I'm really happy with this. I really am. And they all have the dust jackets. And like I said, they, they usually tell you if they don't have the dust jacket and they have different versions available. So yeah, definitely check them out. All right. So that's it guys. Hope you liked this video. Let me know. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will be definitely doing another one of these within the next coming month. So until next time, thanks for watching.